Hey everyone, in this lecture we are going to look at creating a CloudFront distribution for our static website bucket without using domain entries or anything from ACM. So go ahead and log into the AWS Management Console if you're not already there and we're going to search for CloudFront and CloudFront is known as a CDN which is a content delivery network. It just allows us to take traffic from sp from different origins and feed it in to a destination essentially. Um, one of the benefits of CloudFront is it actually will cache static content which allows for increased speed of the delivery of that content. So we'll go ahead and head to CloudFront and we're going to create a distribution here. So the type of distribution since we're creating a website content distribution network is going to be web. Uh, you can see here it speeds up uh, the distribution of static and dynamic content. Um, so it essentially will use Amazon's uh, edge locations which caches data locally uh, no matter where your bucket is. So say you have a, a bucket in Europe right that has traffic. If somebody's trying to access that from the United States, it's going to take a while to get that information back and forth each time. Um, it's going to take time to go out and fetch that and then download it from Europe all the way over to the US. Well, Amazon has a suite of private, um, essentially, data centers that will allow you to, if somebody's trying to download that website from Europe to the US, it'll hit their local CloudFront um, edge location. It'll hit the edge location first and look for that static content. If it's not there, then it goes to get that information and download it. Um, and then anytime somebody tries to access that uh, from then on around that edge location, it'll hit the edge location first and then download it locally. So it caches that information for, I think, default is 24 hours. It'll just cache that information locally so it speeds up the delivery of your content. Uh, so I'm logged into my Amazon Web Services Management Console and I'm just in the CloudFront. Um, you can do that by searching for CloudFront and just go ahead and go there. And you can see here that I've disabled our CloudFront distribution that we use with our ACM certificate. Um, I've disabled that and we're just going to go in and create another CloudFront distribution the exact same way we would um, but without specifying any custom certificates or any um, extra domain entries. So just go ahead and click create distribution. It's going to be a web distribution. Um, go ahead and select the Amazon S3 bucket here um, and then leave everything the same uh, we'll redirect uh, HTTP and HTTPS traffic. Um, all that's fine, but down here under distribution settings, um, we're going to use the default CloudFront certificate. Um, and this is actually if you are just using a CloudFront distribution to forward traffic to your static website, it will actually support HTTPS. Um, so I think in the previous optional one, I said it would only be HTTP. That's true if you're just accessing the S3 bucket directly. But if we're using um, if we're using CloudFront distribution, it will actually provision a custom SSL certificate that we can use to access HTTP or HTTPS. Um, the only caveat with that is that it doesn't allow for multiple um, domains. So before we were using alternate domain names, so we would use www.infotrode and we use just infotrode. Um, you'd have to have a custom certificate if you wanted to do that but we can just supply a single SSL certificate and that's uh, the default CloudFront certificate. Um, so that's pretty nice that they provide that for you. Um, so yeah, just leave everything else the same and click Create Distribution. And that's going to go ahead and deploy that. Um, so we will also, I've noticed that it, just like before, it defaulted the, um, the origin name to the old style, so that's not going to work. Uh, we'll wait for this to be enabled and then we'll go in and uh, we'll, we'll modify that before we finish up with this lecture. Okay everyone, we're back here in the console. It only took a couple minutes for that to be deployed. 
but you can see here that it looks like um, it's deployed and what we'll need to do is we'll need to go back and we'll need to update this origin name to match what it's actually supposed to look like so it's going to be infotro.io and it's going to be this .s3 website us east one so let's go ahead and do that and go into the uh, distribution settings here origins and origins group and we'll check this and then edit it and so our origin domain name is going to be infotro.io.s3-website US East 1 click yes edit and that should be it let's go back to our distributions and now if we wanted to access this over HTTP or HTTPS uh, we'll want to access it with the uh, domain name for the CloudFront origin so it'll actually be this here let's copy that link we'll wait for this status to be deployed okay that only took about five minutes uh, but you can see see here that it's deployed and enabled now if we access this domain name it'll essentially do the exact same thing that um, just accessing the static s3 website so let's go ahead and hit paste and then you can see there that it's taken us to our index um, currently it's insecure so it's over HTTP if we did HTTPS again same thing it would take us to the index um, and so that's actually what you would use um, to access a static S3 website uh, if you weren't using a domain or an ACM certificate but you still wanted to use um, CloudFront distribution and there's a couple benefits to that um, first of all it'll give you a free SSL certificate that will let you use HTTP and HTTPS traffic uh, so that's a great benefit um, it'll also provide you the caching benefit that CloudFront provides and it'll help you speed up your website and um, serve serve content to your customers in a more efficient way so that's the end of this lecture in the next lecture we'll actually go through and we'll we'll look at uh, picking out a website that we can use to deploy to this bucket so it won't just show index so we could actually have a nice um, website so if you have some time please join me in the next lecture and I'll see you then